Hey, welcome back everybody. I am the gerbil. Today's video is um, I think a really interesting one and I hope that a lot of people are able to see this and kind of pay attention to it because in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes we have a tendency to follow the advice of the internet and that that includes me. I consider myself part of the internet and I consider myself a person who follows the advice of the internet. But the internet is not unfallible. In fact, the internet makes a lot of mistakes. And it's pretty easy because um, at some point data starts accumulating somewhere, whether it's an official site like Swaga.hg or Reddit or something. Uh, somebody posts a question that says, hey, how do you do X? And people start to answer, oh, I do this, I do this, I do this. And then other people read that and whether or not the advice that were given was accurate or the best, they do it because they feel the comfort and the confidence in knowing that other people have done it the same way. And this is what this video is sort of about. I'm going to try to correct the the internet's modding advice, if I can say it that way, for L3. See, L3 is a critical component of the second most holding 5v5 G, GAC defensive team. Like Kyber 1 players, <clears throat> they all use this team. And so that's something that people below the Kyber are going to try to emulate. Um, but if you jump over to Swaga.gg, I'm about to show it, the modding advice for L3 is all wrong. So just for the lulls, have you ever heard of Bodie McBoatface? <laughs> this is not a joke. Uh, I think it was 2009. The British government did a survey on the internet asking citizens and people to vote for the name of this next Navy ship that they were going to introduce. And the number one result was the Bodie McBoatface. No, they did not go that way, but that just kind of speaks towards how the internet can lead people astray. Um, a good runner up to me is Eminem's chili flavored that did not last very long and the internet suggested it. So let's get onto this, shall we? The According to, again, SWGOH.GG, the top two defensive squads pre-GLEA was Jabba the Hutt with Embo and Omicron, and then second was Ray with Sorty, Barris, Ben Solo, and then L3. Now, I just took my L3 to Relic 1 today, uh, and because I just got my Ray, because I bought the Lightspeed bundle for $10, so I imagine a lot of people are probably in the same situation right now, trying to figure out how to mod these characters and whether or not they want to invest in a Barris and an L3. And I've gotten, I've decided I'm all in on this squad. And if I don't like it, then I've got a really, really fun video coming later for a droid team that I don't think I've seen anybody use. Um, that's another issue though. So for right now, without GLA, who I think is going to rise to the top of this. So I think it's going to be Leia Jabba Ray again with Sorty Barris Ben and then L3. So what does the internet say? What does the internet say? It says that for L3, you want protection, uh, hollow receiver or array, protection, you know, that, that's the cross. Protection cross, protection circle, protection um, triangle. And a lot of folks are putting a protection mod primary stat on the arrow. Those are all wrong. That is just absolutely wrong. And this does come from the top 100 guilds. So you're probably going, hey, gerbil, there's no way you're right and the internet's wrong. Uh, actually, no, that happens quite often, not just for, uh, not me necessarily, but all the time the internet gets things wrong. And th that's what I was saying at the beginning. It's kind of a fallacy to just always follow the internet. We need to, we need to step back sometimes and evaluate, right? Fact check. So like if you look at L3 stat progression from gear 12 into gear 13, relic five in the middle and then relic nine at the end, the difference between her unmodded health pool and protection is not that big. There's only a difference of about 6,000 value, 75,000 health, 81,000 protection. Which right there means like if you're going to put a 16% health mod on of a lower number, you're going to get a lot less return on an investment than if you put a plus 24% primary protection mod. So you're like, again, why protection? Well, if we pull the team, everybody's like health, except for Ben. He's all like, I don't care. And, and here's how. 
we've got to start reading our kits a little better. This is myself included, which is why I'm actually making this video. There's no better way. Every teacher will tell you, the one who learns the most is the one doing the teaching. So if we look at L3's kits, first off, L3 starts the battle prepared. When she's prepared and she uses her basic attack, underlined and highlighted in blue right over here, you can see L3, when she's prepared and uses her basic, she gains 10% health stacking until the end of the encounter. Stacking. That's not exponential stacking. It's her starting health pool plus 10%. Plus 10%, plus 10%. And you know what? If she can get to that like Mark III uh, enhancement, then she has a 100% counter chance. So every single time she counters, she's gaining 10% health. That means the more health you have, the more health maximum she's able to achieve. That means you definitely want health. Next, if we look at her special. Also, when prepared, heal all scoundrels, who cares? especially on this team, but heal all droids, that includes herself, and that would include Sorty, for 50% of her maximum health. Hmm, okay, a health shout out. Then if we look at her unique, the first time each other droid ally, Sorty, is reduced to 1% health, they equalize with her. Now why does this matter? Because if you have 80,000 health, and you take 20,000 damage, then your health is down to 75%. You have lost a, a quarter of your health pool. But if you have 140,000 health and you take 20,000 damage, you're still above 85, 88% health. So when she equalizes, the more health she has, that equalization is more likely to raise her, her teammates, whether she's in this one with Sorty or in a Sorty droid team. She's going to be re elevating or raising her allies' health to a higher level. Next, the only in instance of protection in her kit comes from this unique. It says that she gains plus 25% max protection. Now that sounds good. Everybody can picture that immediately. We understand an instant bonus, but if you follow that one, uh, you're going to be losing out a lot. Let's let's dive into how this synergizes, shall we, with the team. So obviously, Ray is the leader that we're looking at here. The only synergy of health to L3 in this kit comes from her leadership ability. Light side allies gain 30% max health. That right there is better than the 25% that she would get from protection. So the more health that you give her, the more health Ray is going to bestow upon her through that leadership ability. Further, the first time each light side ally falls below 50% health, they recover 50% health. So the more health she has, the more she's going to heal. Also, the more health she has, the harder it will be to knock them her down below that 50%. So you imagine if she, if if L3 just has a lot of protection, you, you blow through that, and then that's not coming back. There's no protection recovery happening on either of their kits. But if she has an insane amount of health, you knock her down to like 51%, you're almost there. You're almost going to trigger that damage immunity from Ray and then somebody heals her, Barris heals her, or L3 heals herself, you gotta do it all over again. But the protection's not coming back, so once you, once your opponent drives that away, it's gone. And then you're gonna get her down below 50% health pretty quick, and then you're gonna kill her pretty quick, right? So you definitely, again, you want protect or health. There's no protection synergies with Ray. What about the rest of the squad? Ben. Yeah, there's no synergies at all. There's no protection synergies. There's no health synergies. It just doesn't matter. Ben's like, let me kill things, right? Hulk smash is, is all he says. So then this brings us to Barris, who is a healer. Barris is basic, is, is got a chance to recover 6% of her health to everybody, not protection. Barris is special, says all allies have their health percentages equalized again. So the higher L3 is, especially as a tank, she's going to be absorbing a lot of the damage. The higher her health is, the harder it is to lower that percentage so that Barris elevates everyone back up to a higher percentage level. Um, then it says each ally recovers 15% of their max health. Would you rather recover 15% of 80,000 or 15% of 170,000 health? Mm. Finally, 
uh, whenever an ally is critically hit, that ally recovers 20% health. That is a unique ability that applies to the entire team. Once again, 20% of 80,000 health means she's going to recover 20,000 protection, but 20% of 170 means she's going to recover uh, 34,000 health, a lot more. We don't care about the leadership because she ain't the leader. So again, her, her kit is all health, health, health. Literally everything she does, even when she does nothing, it's healing the team. So why would you mod for protection? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. If I am, please, internet, let me know. Uh, this brings us to the final team member is Sorty. We don't care about spare parts because that's on the leadership and we do not have her in the leadership position. The only health synergy and protection synergy here is debatable through the VIP treatment, but that is not going to be going to L3, not with Ben on the team. But ben is going to get that. There's no way. Um, everyone's going to have way more health pool. So sorty has got a bigger health pool. L3's got a bigger health pool. Barris got a bigger health pool. She's got a lot of health. Um, so the VIP treatment is going to Ben Solo. Sorry, it's just that's where it's going. So this is there, but um, yeah, that ain't gonna do anything. So finally, uh, if what if you do run L3 though under a droid team? Well, then that spare parts comes into play, and it says that spare parts is going to revive the droid at a hundred percent health, not protection zero and uh, they're gonna gain protection up. And you're like, aha, gerbil, protection. No, 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 my friends. No, my friends. Protection is based on your health. Protection up is based on health. So the more health you have, the more protection up you have. So again, protection. I'm not even gonna talk about conquest. So let's do the math. All right, so here's the math, okay? If L3 has a Relic 9, I know everyone's not going there, but we're just looking at the potential. 75,000 base health. You, you throw in three mod sets, that's 30% bonus health. Takes you up to 97,800. Now, if you just, just only consider primaries, you gain 16% primary on the triangle, the cross, and the, the, the circle, then you're looking now at 133,000, almost 134,000 health. Ray's leadership kicks in, you're up to 174,000 health, 174,000 health, this is crazy. Then she starts the battle prepared and there's conditions, but if they're met, every time she uses a basic, counter-striking using a basic, she's gaining 10% health, which at this case, if, 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 and I could be wrong on this, if the sequence follows the way I'm imagining, it'll be plus 17,000 max health every basic attack. That's going to add up, my friends, insanely fast. There, I don't know the correct sequence and how all this gets, you know, is it leadership and then um, uniques and then mods? I don't know. Somebody can let me know in the bottom. So my numbers could be off, you know, a, a few percentages here or there, but the, it, the ultimate outcome is the same. Conversely, if you mod for protection, she starts at 81,500 protection. Put on three health sets, no bonus. Put on uh, mod health, sorry, protection primaries, you get a net 72% from, again, those three mods, the triangle, cross, circle. So she's got up to 140,000 protection. That's a lot. Her, her unique kicks in plus 25%. We're at 175. Look at the difference. It's almost the same. 175 versus 174. It's a, it is a 1,000% or 1,000 net difference except none of that protection will ever come back. Whereas all that health will through Barris, through Sorty, and through LG herself, L3 herself. So you can recover 174-ish thousand without dying health, but you won't get any of that protection back. So again, Ray is like, I grant thee health. Sorty is like, I'm not your leader. Barris is like, health, 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 health. And Solo's like, hold my hand. All right, so how, how do I actually recommend you mod L3 for this Ray team and even for a sortie team? Um, honestly, this is just, I think, the way you should probably re mod her in most teams, especially teams with Barris or a healer. Um, even if you put like Jawa Engineer there, he heals health, not protection. Ewok Elder heals health, not protection. Uh, I think IG-11, I think, heals health, not protection. Um, it's everywhere. Wat Tambor, health, not protection. So yeah, you probably probably really do want more health here. Anyway, 
I recommend health, obviously, on the circle, triangle, cross. Defense, you can't change. Offense on the square, you can't change. The arrow primary is really interesting. Um, I'm torn on speed, but she's going to be counter chancing. But you want her to take turns so that she can hopefully upgrade her, enhance her mark one to two to three. But I also really like a crit avoidance because if she gets to the enhanced mark two, she gains plus 30% crit avoidance and then if you tack on a crit avoidance arrow uh, she's up to 65% crit avoidance which means a lot of squads are not going to be critically hitting her so so you you get her health pool up into the 200,000 range and then they can't critically hit her um, this could just be kind of devastating especially with Barris backing her up right if you do manage the crit then she recovers in terms of secondaries um, I recommend I don't know if this order is correct, but I'd really, really recommend as much defense percentage as possible. Speed, potency, tenacity, and then last minor one is the, the static defense number, right? The defense 16 or whatever that is. It's just nonsense. Um, so yeah, defense percent, speed, potency, tenacity. But of course, our boy Solo is like, more potency. That's the Kermon effect out there, folks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I do feel sorry for you. Anyway, no, that's a joke. Um, actually, no, it's not a joke. <laughs> hey, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, give me a like, give me a sub. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all later. If there's a team you'd really like to know more about modding or a character, let me know. I tend to make these videos based on the ones I want to learn myself. I just relic my entire Ray team, Ray, Solo, Barris, and, and L3. And I have no idea how the kits work. Now I do. And I feel really good about that. So let me know and maybe I'll make one. Like honestly, I have no idea how Darth Revan works. I've been I've been running that squad for years. No idea. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Bye bye.